we will here see how we can derive the starting state when we have our polynomials p of d and c of d. So our sequence s of d, the d transform of the sequence, is here written as our polynomial p of d over the connection polynomial c of d. Recall now that the connection polynomial c of d will determine the feedback in our shift register and the polynomial p of d will determine the starting state. But we cannot directly from the polynomial p of d, which is here 1 plus d squared, determine exactly which starting state we have. So what we do instead is that we can perform this division. And we can do this division because we know that the starting state is the first bits that are shifted out from our shift register. And if we perform this division, we will find what is the sequence S. So we can just look at the first three bits of our sequence S and that will determine our starting state. And we will here perform the division using serious expansion. So we have 1 plus d plus d cube in our denominator and in our numerator we have 1 plus d squared. So 1 in 1 we can do one time and then we add 1 plus d plus d cube. And if we sum these two we will have d plus d squared plus d cube. And then here we can add uh, d, because 1 in d we can perform d times. So d times the denominator will be d plus d squared plus d to the 4. And summing these two rows we will have d cubed plus d4. And then if we do this again we will have d cubed here. And Multiplying this with the denominator, we get d cubed plus d4 plus d6. And now we get d6 as the remainder, and then we can continue this forever. But what we can see now here is that the sequence that we have here will be the sequence, if we start at the time instant 0, it will be the sequence 1, 1, 0, 1, and so on. And we can see here now that the first three bits in this sequence is 1, 1, 0. So we know that our starting state is 1, 1, 0. So we can fill this out in our shift register. So this is how we can derive the starting state if we have the two polynomials P of D and C of D.